Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, we're watching the tropics. Some action out there. The good news, not anything that's going to directly impact the U.S. We've got one system down here named Peter. This is going to lift to the north. Behind that, there's one called Rose. It's going to lift to the north. Now, we've got to watch this. I think we're going to see this develop. Right now, it doesn't have a name, but it's going to be called Sam eventually. Sam, actually, because it's farther south latitude, might have a better chance to make it over towards the island, so we'll keep an eye on that. So that one right there, we'll be watching. The other two, they're going to lift north, not be a factor. Talk about being a factor. Look at this. Here comes the cool down. Temperatures at this time compared to this time yesterday. It's only two degrees cooler in Bloomington, 15 degrees cooler in Terre Haute, but 21 degrees cooler in Paris and 22 in Effingham. Here comes the big cool down that we've been talking about, and it's going to last for a couple days. Tomorrow's going to be the coolest day, then we'll get a little bit better after that. 74 today for the high, 68 has been our low. It wasn't that long ago, really. 2010 when we hit 95 for the record high. Back in 1991, though, 36 degrees this time of the year. Not a lot of rain here at the station. We've picked up 0 0.06. We're up to 0 0.91 so far for the month, but there is more rain on the way for tonight and part of the day tomorrow. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow, and the river stage is holding steady in Terre Haute at 3.7 feet. Here's what we've got at the airport in Terre Haute. Cooling off 67, but look at the wind northwest at 12 miles per hour. It's also going to be breezy tonight and into the day tomorrow and tomorrow night as well. Temperatures are turning cooler. It's still 75 in Bloomington, but it's already down to say 62 up here in the Danville area, 62 in Paris. So you can see the cooler air is moving in behind that front. Dew point numbers are still pretty high even to the north. So there's still moisture left over in the atmosphere. And you can see that on the water vapor satellite. You see this milky white look. That's a lot of moisture. And if you look real close, there's a little spin right there. That little feature that we see coming down across the southern portion of Plains is going to kind of hook up with this front and move up the front. That's going to enhance the rainfall, I think, later tonight and into the day tomorrow across the area tonight and then more east as we get through the day tomorrow. Locally tonight on the satellite and radar, you can see we've had a break for the most part, not anything heavy. We do have more rain southwest. That will move into the area. We've also got some heavy rain to the southeast of here and up to the north. But this will continue to develop and advance to the northeast. So we will see additional rain moving in here tonight. And you'll see that here. Can't rule out a few thunderstorms. As we get into tomorrow, I think once we hit mid-morning, a lot of this starts to go east. But we still have some leftover showers. So there's still going to be some showers around tomorrow right into probably tomorrow night. Eventually, once we get into Thursday, we start to see all of this pushing out of the area and drier air moves in. So tonight and tomorrow, we still got rain chances. By tomorrow night into Thursday, drier weather starts to move back in. And the wind is also going to be a factor. These are sustained winds. We're going to see wind gusts could be up to 30 miles per hour. So it's going to be breezy as well and cooler. After that goes through, we're good except for probably Friday night. Notice the Saturday morning, a front comes through. So there could be a few showers late Friday night, early Saturday morning. I think the rest of the weekend looks good. There's Sunday and into Monday. Everything is looking pretty good right into the day on Tuesday as well. And temperature wise, you'll see the cool air push in now. Then with that little front Friday night, a little reinforcing shot. But then after that, we warm up as we head for the weekend and as we get into next week. And that trend is going to stay with us. This is long term. September 29 to October 5, we're back to the above normal temperatures, but we're also back to the drier than normal weather. Forecast night, showers, a few storms, 56. Tomorrow, more showers. It'll be breezy, 60. That's it for the high. And then after that, temperatures will be cool. We head for the weekend, but warming back into the low 80s early next week. Let's head to Grant. Thanks, Jesse. This is